what's up youtube it's your girl jady jone and i am back with another video and as you already see by the title today i'm going to be showing you guys the install of this 99j wig major shout out to west kiss hair company for sponsoring this video i love 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 this wig this wig was colored perfectly it was super duper cute on my skin tone and i just loved everything about it it did come in a curly wavy texture and i did decide to wind curl it just to give it a little pizzazz but i'm not even gonna hold y'all too much y'all already know how these videos go as always everything will be in the description box below for you all to cop y'all already see what's going on it is so pretty. The install was so flawless. The lace was everything. Let's go ahead and get into the install. Okay, so first things first, we're going to get into our ball cap method. So here I just have a stocking cap on my head and I'm cutting out my ears. And so that's just what y'all see me doing. Then I'm going to go in with my Erica J glue and I'm going to apply that cap with that glue and that's just going to help my cap to stay down and secured and that's just what y'all see me doing. Just do a very thin layer, it doesn't have to be too thick at all and this is going to make sure that your cap, this is a foolproof, foolproof method for your cap not to slide back. Okay, so next I'm going to try the wig on my head and y'all already see how nice this wig was. It was really, really nice. I already knew that this was going to eat. Okay, so yes, I love the red. It was something new. Okay, so going in with my Ruby Kisses Cream Foundation in the color 9. I'm going to apply that to my cap. You can be as sparingly or you can use as much as you want to. It's really a preference thing. I won't use too much because it does have the tendency to pull kind of orange. So... If you don't want your style to be orange, don't use too much. I do go very, very light on the wig, so that also helps. So, I do apply my makeup before I cut my cap, so that's what y'all see me doing. Now, I'm cutting off my cap, and it just has a clear line where to cut, and that's just what I'm doing. Easy peasy, lemon, motherfucking squeezy. Okay, so you're just cutting to your liking, and yeah, that's just what I'm doing. So here I'm trying to weave back on, basically looking at it with the cap on, trying to see what is it giving. Is it giving? Is she cute? Yeah. So after that, I'm cleaning my hair off with alcohol, and that is just to remove any extra oils or makeup that may be on my hairline left from applying a cap and just skin in general produces oils. So just to make sure that all of that is gone, that is what I'm doing. So then I go in with my glue and I don't know why my camera had these lines. I think the light was too bright because whenever I have like weird lighting, it does that. So excuse that. It's going to go away on its own in a little bit. But I am just applying this glue and smoothing it out in a very thin layer. What I love about Erica J glue is it dries so quickly. What I will say is ghost fine takes a minute to dry so like you're gonna be sitting waiting for those individual pieces to dry but erica j literally literally dries so quick so i did like two or three layers and then after you do your layers the more layers the best hold and as always i cut my wig into three sections because i like to put it down one by one by one so started with the middle i'm just laying it down and I did bleach the knots on this wig, but you don't have to. I just kind of prefer a brighter look at the root. I just feel like it looks better. Kind of looks more like it's like a bleached wig, kind of, sort of. But here I am just adding that wig into the glue. You literally place your wig directly into the glue. That is where a lot of people go wrong. They put it too far, like they put it before the glue. And they have like that white cast around the hairline because they don't have enough, you know. They don't put the glue they put it like in the middle of the glue you got to put it right into it like you have to sit it in there so next you put on your elastic band this is going to help to melt that into that glue and into your skin and i would say you can leave that on for about 20 minutes minutos and then you're going to take it off it should be melted this is going to just help with the overall process and it helps the glue dry too so yeah it ain't going nowhere so then I take my straight razor and I just go and kind of cut in this exact motion. And that is also going to help to give you that hairline effect. And as y'all see, it looked pretty good. It could have been better, but it was still cute. I made it work. I did over pluck a little bit. So doing the same thing on the other side. And you just really going to take your time with it because you can cut yourself doing this. So be careful. And then add on more makeup. And it actually, y'all, this install was actually pretty cute. It was a little overplugged. But can we talk about it? It was definitely melted. I mean, hey, it wasn't the best, but you know, it was given or whatnot. 
so here i'm just trying to figure out how i'm gonna style it y'all know i'm a side part queen so i already wanted to give flip over side parts something you know so that is what i did i parted the hair on the side and i actually went back and forth with this hair i was really going here there next i go in with my she is bomb wax stick this is the best wax stick it's not too oily or greasy and it get, it gets the job done i was using i think the ors and it was real real greasy so i had got on live child you know talking to them and they was gassing me up they was like oh the red hair y'all i can't wait to put this wig back on because it was actually really really cute and i had to take it off because i had to get tape ins but y'all y'all see what's going on y'all see the process me flattening i did wear it like this at first but then i was like nah let me get a girl's wine curl so you can get spray or something to fill it in i did over pluck so i had to kind of fix it up and doctor it but that's just very like up to you you know it still was very natural so here i'm curling my edges per the huge and you know the process with the baby hairs you cut pluck and then you curl usually if you did if you already did a good pluck from the beginning you're really not gonna have to plug nothing so keep that in mind but that's what i'm doing doing the cute little baby hairs sideburns suit or whatever and y'all i really did overplug this week you can definitely see it but it was still cute so that don't even matter y'all know i love a swoop a middle one and then a sideburn so that's kind of how i always do my edges um with all my wigs and then i do it differently if it's a side part but for a middle part base that is the key major key alert so we just swooping them bad boys get them cute get them done real real cute and i'm gonna kind of skip through this Okay, so this is how the hair looks in its natural texture. Really, really cute and bomb. I really did like it like this, but I decided to take a step further. Y'all know I wanted to make it real, real styled and all of that, but this was so cute by itself. Like, yeah, but as you know, I just brushed it out and I went in with my Argon Heat wand curler and it did the job i didn't want super tight wand curls and i didn't want it to be too you know too uniform so i did go in like i barely curled all the way up i really just curled the ends just to give it that look that root that very spirally look kind of but i didn't want it to be too much so that's just what y'all see me doing and yeah i'll be back for the finished product All right, you guys, so this is the finished product. Like I said, I love everything about this wig. Pre-colored wigs have came such a long way. I remember when they first started like rolling these out, they were kind of iffy. But now, girl, if you don't know how to color no wig, you can just order you a pre-colored wig. It comes like already done for you. Like, I don't know, it's just a win-win. This hair was so pretty. I love the style and you see it, you see it, it was real fluffy thick and i loved everything the color was perfect it was very very just oh i love it i don't know nothing to say i don't say major shout out to west kids for sponsoring this video that is one of my favorite companies as y'all know and yeah all the links will be in the description box below thank you all for watching i love you all and i will see you guys in my next freaking video